Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning self, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, knowing that we can be able to connect in such a powerful way to know that even though we're going through different situations, we're all shifting and connecting in the same way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up, tell me about your impact to give how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are very informative to you or even just give you good vibes, you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend. Or even a fellow empath going through some really trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards the life path or even their sole purpose. Go ahead and share and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, uh, my uh, meditation music I'm listening to in the background is called Enhanced Positive Energy, 528 Hertz music deep healing miracle tones ancient frequency music healing and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas when the universe puts that fire under your ass sin uh through the smoke screens you know it's a lot of us be going through some things and you know like i told y'all what was it like a week or two ago that a lot of times that you know it takes us many lifetimes to finally get the gist of what you know the moral of you know the the meaning of the things that we have to go through seeing things for what they truly are you know a lot of times i even felt this way too but it's just like i know my it's like a blessing i have the mistakes that i have because a lot of times the things that i go through i mean all the time i usually put it in my video and it's just amazing how so many people can relate to the things that i'm on that journey you know even though we have different situations that are going on we're connecting in a usual way it's like a lot of people that i'm close to you know that I had the one-on-ones with we pretty much have the same thing going on and it's like a lot of times God universe source whoever you you choose to believe in that you worship places people in your life so you can be a teacher as well as you know a student so you go through all these things you know you're helping guiding one person or even a couple of people and they're they're doing the same thing off of you because I feel like we learn things you know it, it, we learn new things every single day and it's just a blessing to me you have to really be able to see the smoke screens because a lot of times when things happen in our life you know we feel like you know we're being punished um you know you're seeing a lot of people you know doing things that you obviously want to do in your life you know a lot of things will be mirrored back to you you know what you're working on you know what you're trying to head towards and no it wasn't an easy road you know like i tell y'all you even know yourself if anything you know you want in life that you truly want in life universe will put you to a test in so many different ways it's like you being in school and i was telling my soul sister that today it's like you're in school and your teacher tells you, hey, we're going to have a pop test, you know, a pop quiz, but I'm not going to tell you when it is. So that means, you know, they want you to study. So at least they're giving you that forewarning. You don't know when the pop quiz is going to be because that's the reason why they call it pop quiz. They they go off of the lesson that they assign to you for you to be studying this, this, and this, and that. Just like life, you know, you go through your experiences. You see things that, you know, even when it's good or bad, it's always an experience that you can put under the belt like, oh, okay, you know, so when a situation kind of similar pops up, it's your choice if you rather deal with this situation or just cut it off as a loss. Like I told y'all, we're all starting a new chapter and it's like something that happened to your life you're you step back and you're finally seeing things for what they are and then when you finally get that that's allowing you to give you that confirmation that you don't start a new chapter in your life and a lot of us have you know or some a lot of us is you know 
about to start that situation because there's so many things that you're going through. So many things is coming at you all at once. People are coming back from your past. It could have been a good experience or a bad experience that y'all went your ways. I mean, there are some friends that, you know, uh, or, you know, ex, ex lovers or whatever you want to call them have parted ways because you were doing your life and they were doing theirs. Now it's like, when they're coming back and they're trying to rekindle something, is this something that you want to continue to deal with with that person? Or it's like if y'all didn't end good on a note, are you on trying to do that again? You know, disassociate with yourself. Because I've been that through this route in the last couple of months. It's like people have been coming back and it's just like, do you want to entertain that stuff? Because it's like, you know, one time shame on you. The next time, you know, shame on them. The second time is shame on you. Because if you know it wasn't a say it wasn't a good clean you know cut cord you know y'all got into spats or there was some drama within the situation or whatever and then all of a sudden these people come back you know it, it'll have you rekindling the things that you know took y'all to the reason why y'all went on about your ways anyway but you know that's like the pop quiz, uh, pop quiz that I was just telling you about a lot of times God universe darkness even place people in your lives just to see how you're gonna react just to see how you're gonna respond those are the pop quizzes that you're going and you're dealing with and a lot of times we get pissed off at that you know there's times I don't see any stuff and I'm like you know I'm so tired of seeing this you know because there's God knows what I want and I used to really look at it like why are you rubbing this stuff in my face it's like you would dangle it like this and I get ready to grab it like i told y'all about that state farm commercial it's like that old man like oh you gotta be quicker than that and you really do and it's just like you can't keep doing that or even if y'all even watch peanuts back in the day with charlie brown that's just like your life and you putting your hands your life life of you know the hands of life in lucy's hands so when she always used to put that little football down and soon as charlie went to go kick it she don't snatch it up and it's like how many times you gonna have to keep going through that to learn that you know that she gonna take that football even regardless if she tell you oh i ain't gonna do that she knows she is and you know there's situations we go through where we feel like damn you know why do i have to keep going through this why is this happening it just seems like things are back to back to back to back to back and it's like a lot of drama you know, and you can really feel that. It's just like you, you can have your relatives coming at you. You know, you're getting into it with your boss or, you know, people that you thought were your friends are starting to look like total daggone strangers to you. But you have to understand now, it was just like, you know, it took me for a minute, like I told y'all last week, we're all playing a part. There's always a vil villain, good guy, bad guy, the subliminal message, you know, and the cliffhangers i mean that's what our lives are about you have to understand there's always going to be an evil person just like there's always going to be the good person um there's going to be times where your life is going to feel like a crazy adventure you know it's just you you know either it can be a comedy or it can be an action pack or it can be a suspense it could be a love no novel and it can be a daggone horror movie you got to pick and choose what type of movie that is and what role you are playing within that that movie you know that's what we go through but a lot of times we have to understand it can get very stressful you know when um we're going through a lot of things especially when you know you're heading towards stuff that you really want you know you can get mad because you know with my situation i knew a lot of people when it was like when i'm putting two and two together you know i seen a lot of people that knew about my situation and just chose not to say nothing or they wanted to play upon that situation or they, they were making decisions for me like i'm not about to tell her and i would really get mad at them but it was the whole point god did not want these people helping me there was i had to be able to learn a lot of lessons along the way and i told y'all before my f-ups i make videos off of and it helps a lot of people. I'm like, I didn't know my F-ups is going to help somebody else on what they're doing. So it's just like when you're going through different things in life, you cannot be mad at the people that won't help you. You, you can't be mad at the people that um, are not supporting you. Because there's a lot of times God will put that in your way. Just like there's times I don't prayed upon my relationships. Like, oh God, please make this better for me. You know, this, this, and this, and that. When you realize this is not the, you know, the relationship that God wanted for you. You know, there'll be certain things that you, oh, this was, I, you know, I accidentally walked in on something and, you know, they were saying this and this and this and that. Or I overheard this. It, it, nothing's never an accident and nothing's, you know, a uh, coincidence that happens in your life. And I know y'all probably know that. But there's a lot of times things that come to the forefront. They need you to be able to hear. Just let people know 
okay, how were they behind your back? Because some people can come back to you and say, oh, you know, such and such said this about you. You have to really think, okay, if it was something bad, why do they feel like they have that, that kind of, you know, be comfortable with you to be able to say some things about me that allows you to know what, you know, because anybody come gossip you about anything that's going on in anybody else's life, I guarantee you they're doing the same thing about you to somebody else. You know, that's why I had, you know, going through all these things has gave me these lifelong lessons. And a lot of times, Universal place this place you in this certain situation for you to be able to move and do what you need to do. Because I know a lot of times we go through things and it feels like you never take a break. You know, it's just like, damn, every time I turn around, there's some kind of, you know, drama coming one way, another way, and another way. We need prayers. We need an uplift. You know, trying to understand why do I have to constantly keep going through this? Why do I have to do this? There's always a why, why, why. Why do I have to keep constantly, you know, experiencing these, these situations with these people? Why do I have to constantly keep going there? God allows things like that to happen because, you know, your situation might not have been the best situation for you. So a lot of times when we have to go through all this drama and trials and tribulations, because you have to actually think of it this way. Would you gonna were you gonna move if things weren't crazy over there? <laughs> were you gonna be able to, I mean, were you ever gonna elevate yourself and get where you really need to be if God didn't place them type of dramas in your life? And I know I must be talking about something very serious because my nose been itching even before I start. <laughs> Even before I started this video, like God dog, when they say when your nose start itching, you on you on a good subject because they need you to be able to look at stuff like that. You know, I was telling a, a friend girl about that situation today, and I was like, dag, I didn't look at it like that. I said, anytime we have stressful things going, because it's like you're already coming towards blessings. You know, and there's a lot of times where you're heading towards that next step to be able to have some all this stuff coming you know blossom into your life you will go through setbacks you will go through you know people trying to come in and get, get their hand in the cookie jar or you'll have somebody in your life that's trying to throw that speed bump in front of you so you don't get your blessing you have another person around here that's hating on you because they see the blessing that you're about to come into and wishing that was them you know even though their, their journey is their journey and your journey is your journey a lot of people try to understand why things are going the way it's going in your life as long as you know where you're going and you understand your journey the hell with the rest of the people they're not supposed to know if it was meant for them to know they would be there you know if they're supposed to be in your life trust me they will be there you know a lot of times we go through these spiritual awakenings trying to figure out why you know the friends that we don't have for years and years at a time come up strangers you, these are not the people you know you know they've been supportive they've been this now all of a sudden they turn their back on you but really in actuality quiet be kept god don't turn your back on them because they weren't supposed to be there you know they they stayed there for that lesson we always either have a lesson or a lifetime with people and a lot of times i don't know y'all don't heard me say this before because if you've been with me for a while you don't heard me say it before there's a lot of times we go through things and we put lifetime expectations on seasonal people and that's where we that's where we mess up at because we figure that that person is going to be with us throughout our journey. You might start with a handful of people at the beginning of your journey, but you're not the same person that started this journey. So you'll be lucky if you have actually had those same, you know, handful of people. So it's just like a lot of times and I know, oh, Lord, I'm on it. I'm on it today. It's just like when you have these things popping off of you left and right, left and right, left and right, you have to understand because obviously you started becoming complacent about the things you were doing and you were just getting like, oh, okay, well, I'll do this and that. No, because God be like, look, you know, you got good things coming into your life, so I'm going to start bringing this drama to you because it seemed like if I didn't put, bring this drama to you, you would have still been doing the same lame stuff you did and it's not going to elevate you. You know, like I say, if they'll, if somebody keeps coming back and reminding you your past, knowing it's not your past, your past is what made you, you are not your past. And, a lot, and I'll tell y'all that, you know, even in my intro, you are not the product of the things that you have been, that, that has, you have done in your life. You are the product of the person that went through all this to become the person you're supposed to be now, you know. So there's a lot of things that occur in your life that you have to really truly see that, you know, you're not being punished. You know, uh, 
it's not supposed to, it's going to be stressful but like i've told y'all before that's the time where you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable because god is going to place a lot of things in your life that's going to scare the heck out of you because you don't know where you're going you don't see where this is going to take you that's where trust and faith kicks in and i had to tell myself that as well so allow yourself to see those smoke screens you know there's a lot of times you you feel like you know this is so messed up people are just doing this way with me i'm just constantly you know get into arguments a lot of, with people because god is allowing you to see them for what they truly are they're stripping them they're making them slap that mask off and so you can see the true intentions that certain people have in your life or what they're trying to contribute to it and if it's not something on a positive note you already know what to do <laughs> on to the next one you need to go like what ariana grande say stop what up next or whatever that song is but y'all know the drift if you you know who ariana grande is but it's like up next so you have to be able to see the smoke screens that the universe places in your life you have to understand if they want you to go somewhere and you know your soul ain't gonna let you stop doing what you need to do and neither is the universe and god so they will put certain situations in your life when you pray like you pray on a relationship you want that so bad but god end up tearing things all out of direction seeing you know allowing you getting hurt with this person so many times just to let you know this is not the person i have for you now if you leave this person alone or you leave this friend alone i'm going to bring the people that needs to be in your life so allow yourself to be able to see what the universe is trying to place place on your life and just really look at the smoke screens that they're placing upon you so that's all I got to say about that one. Um, I hope y'all, everybody, have a, four, a nice 4th of July. And, you know, be safe with all the crazy fireworks. So, you know, if you can, because I know where we stand, you're not supposed to be doing the fireworks, I guess. That's how they do it. But, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I will give a post notification shout out to... Um, uh, Robert Cole, uh, Ray Fisher, and Katie Strike, much love to you. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Remember, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you, you resonate. Um, and share. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit that bell. And I will see you on my next video. Peace.